What's up, Zolias? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Fresh back from the Caribbean. I was down in Trinidad and Tobago for 10 days, I think it was, just prior to Carnival. No, I didn't stay for Carnival. If you're watching this Tuesday morning, um, Carnival in full swing, your boy, you're dealing with snow and ice and all that. But anyways, a unique recipe to share with you today. I had moms and pops help me out with this one here. And I just wanted to introduce it to you because it's a little bit strange, a little bit unique. As I said, today we're cooking stewed agouti. And agouti is it's game. It's pretty much what we call wild meat down in, in the Caribbean or at least in Trinidad and Tobago. And while, you know, many of you will be turned away by this recipe, I just wanted to quickly say that, you know, one of the things, and you guys would have noticed this about me, is that I don't apologize for being from the Caribbean. I'm quite proud of being from the Caribbean and I don't apologize for what we eat and this recipe here I'm going to say in one form or the other um, the, the, the the meat itself would have been eaten by the Caribs and the Arawaks, Tianos, all of the indigenous peoples after that after we were colonized and, and we had slavery and indentureship and stuff like that this is what we ate because we didn't have much else to eat as slaves and indentured laborers and stuff like that so i will not apologize for 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 putting up this recipe and I, I do hope you guys if you have the opportunity to ever try it do give it a try it's quite delicious now here's the thing quick i don't want to be much longer as a kid i loved this any sort of wild meat or game i loved it as an adult as in after this recipe was done i struggled to eat it just thinking about that animal yeah, I think I've been in North America for too long. But anyways, I do hope you enjoy the recipe. A little shout out from mom and dad down in the comment section below. And um, vibes it up, man. So what my dad just did here, this is, um, you just move this. This is a grater, a handmade grater. So it has like edges. And he grated the dry coconut, which is here. And that's going to turn into the coconut milk. Um... And you have seen us done do this before, but that's what I'll share it with you. We're gonna add some water in there, squeeze it out, and that is where the coconut milk comes from. So here we have the seasoned agouti, and it's been thoroughly washed. I believe my dad used flour and water, and then some lime juice, lemon juice. And it's been seasoned with Caribbean green seasoning, onion, hot pepper, salt, garlic, and you can see the garlic cloves in there, tomato, and the pot is just heating up here to begin the stewing process. But all the ingredients I use for the agouti, for seasoning the agouti, will be listed down in the description down below. One of the things I want you all to notice, the, the skin, some of the skin there, you're going to see it sort of charred. After they clean it and they gut it and all that stuff like that, what they do, they roast it open over an open flame to burn off the hairs. And I think it gives the meat some flavor as well. So my mom has... A bit of vegetable oil in the pot here, high heat with about two tablespoons of brown sugar. And it's just going to go frothy, then it's going to go amber. And once it goes amber, you don't want it to go black because then the meat will turn out to be bitter. And we've done this before and we've made different types of stews. So we're just going to get ready. Keep the seasoned agouti close by hand. Now the same bowl where you season the um, the agouti, just hang on to that because there's a lot of marinade left back there. And it's been marinating overnight, I forgot to mention that, so we seasoned it the night before, so 24 hours. Go ahead, you could, you could study pot. Wait, now the tail I'm seeing there, Lord. Um, so just stirring it now to pick up all that color. And that is where we're going to get a nice rich color on the meat. So what we're going to do now, we're going to, the heat is on high, we're going to put the lid on there, it's going to spring up a lot of its own natural juices, and we're going to allow that to cook until it burns off all the liquid to really intensify the color and flavor. So as you can tell, it's been going for about 25 minutes now, the last little 5 minutes we removed the lid, all the liquid has burnt off, and um, earlier when I said it was a tail, which was this part here, 
Um, what my dad explained to me is that there's no tail. That's the leg, one of the legs. But you don't have tail. So with the heat back on high now, what my mom is going to do is pour in freshly made coconut milk. And the coconut milk is for flavor, but it also acts as a tenderizer as well. But here's where it's going to take a long time to cook it. It has to slowly braise in there. And if you don't have freshly made coconut milk, you can always use the canned stuff. It's quite okay. Once... Yeah, the trucks just went by there. We're back in the outdoor kitchen again. It's very hot. It's probably about 28 degrees Celsius. More hot in the house. So rather than turn the air conditioner on, we usually cook it out here. We're going to put the lid on there, bring it up to a boil. Once it becomes, once it comes up to a boil, on, we're going to reduce it to a simmer and let it cook for a couple of hours. Game or wild meat, as we call it in the Caribbean, um, can be very tough. So you really got to braise it slowly. So as you can see, it's come up to a boil. Now you can go ahead and stir it. Um, it's come up to a boil now, so we're just going to give it a quick stir. Put the lid back on there and let it go on a rolling boil, as I said, for a couple hours. It's a very tough piece of meat, so it's got to take a long time to braise and cook down. It's been going now for about an hour and a half, so it's nice and tender. We tested it out, tasted for salt, but we're trying to boil down or cook down most of that gravy that's there while we are eating it with... Um, with um with yam boiled yam as well as dal and rice we just want it to be a little bit more thicker so another what half an hour or something and it'll be fully done so here we have the ground provision all boiled it's a little bit discolored but nice and soft you can see it's just falling apart there just ready for the stew to eat it with this so we just turned off the stove and the very last thing my dad is adding here is some chopped scallion and some shadow bang. And it's when the stove is off, just to brighten it up and give it that extra little herbal kick at the end here. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. A unique recipe, well a unique ingredient. A guti, something that goes way back to, wow, probably the natives of the Caribbean would have cooked this. I can't even believe I just moved the camera there, but thanks for joining us in the kitchen today. Um, leave some comments down below. Hit a little thank you for moms and pops for helping out on the recipe today. Probably not a recipe for everyone, but you know, this is our roots right here, man. My little baby is here. We've got cookbooks, guys. WestIndianFoodCompany.com. Get your copy today.